Oh, wow. Mold and mildew can invade a boat fast. I mean, closed compartments like this, canvas, vinyls, I'm sure I don't have to tell you what the inside of a boat cabin can smell like. Hi folks, I'm Lenny Rudeau here today for Boat US, and for 35 years I've been engaged in an epic battle against mold and mildew. I'll bet you have been too. Truth be told, in a lot of ways, this battle has become easier through the years, especially with soft goods like vinyls and canvas. Uh, manufacturers have developed antimicrobial treatments that they now put on these soft goods that helps prevent mold and mildew. But eventually, well, you know. When a boat is new, or vinyls or cushions are new, and they still have those antimicrobial treatments on them, we're only going to use three armaments. Number one is fresh water. Number two is a gentle boat soap. And number three is a soft rag, because you see, mold and mildew sets in wherever it can find dirt, bird guano, anything like that that it can adhere to. So keeping this stuff clean is key. What you don't want to do on those new canvases and vinyls is use an abrasive cleaner or something like a scrub brush. That will scrub away the antimicrobials right along with the dirt. And whatever you do, don't go for the nuclear option of using bleach. That'll wipe the stuff right away. What about a dedicated mildew or mold remover? Well, I don't want to use those treatments either, not on this new vinyl. But this cushion has been on the boat for more than seven years. Now, it's weathered a lot better because it's under cover, but the antimicrobials, they're long gone at this point, and I absolutely will use a dedicated mildew or mold remover on it. What about down inside the cabin? Well, I'll be the first to admit, this here is not much of a cabin, but mold and mildew will be reduced anywhere below decks if you use a moisture absorbing product like this that will help suck the moisture out of the air. And remember folks, this also comes in handy when your boat's laid up for the winter. Under shrink wrap, moisture can still build and this stuff gets rid of it. It's also a good idea to remove soft goods like cushions and curtains and stow them at home in a dry closet or in the garage whenever possible. One final tip folks. Remember, no matter how hard you fight, this is a losing battle. Eventually, whether it takes five years, seven years, or ten years, mold and mildew will make its way onto your boat. And when that time comes, you'll probably have to replace some pieces and parts. Now, don't forget, the mold and mildew doesn't just live on the surface of the material. It lives in the fabric and in the foam inside. So as a general rule of thumb, it is not a good move to just have a cushion recovered. You want to start fresh. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe to the Boat US YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future videos.